Welcome to Other Levels. In today's video, we will continue to learn how you can create this project status dashboard using Google Sheets. It's available also in Microsoft Excel version. Join our channel membership and enjoy the full video tutorial. Visit our website to get the templates or download the datasets other-levels.com. Let's create a drop-down selection for project criteria. In criteria section, select drop-down from a range. Now, we will go to dataset sheet and select the column containing project names. It's time to check whether we can select different projects from drop-down. Now we will link the AT5 cell with the drop-down list. You can see that AT5 cell value changing based on the drop-down list selection, and the all project details as well, because we have added a formula in previous video tutorials. It's time to format the drop-down. We will reduce the column to the extent that only drop-down button is visible. Let's go to advanced options and change the display style to arrow and color same as background color. Now add slicer for project timeline. We will make sure that the slicer is applicable for all pivots by selecting the apply to pivot tables option in slicer settings. Now you can check that the other pivot data also changes on selection of different year. Let's move this slicer to our dashboard and resize it. It's time to know how you can create an outstanding background for this dashboard. We will use Figma software for creating it. It's a free software and it's easy to use. Insert a custom frame with a width of 2000 and height of 1080. First, fill the frame with the linear color type for a shaded effect. Then select both the colors and change the linear effect from vertical to horizontal. Insert the main dashboard background using a rounded rectangle shape. Drag inside the dot at the corner to make rounded borders and fill the color. Let's insert a background for the project's details. Adjust the size and rounded borders. Now, we will fill the color similar to the background color, please follow the color's codes. Then add stroke color to the shape. Set its position and resize it. Now copy the rectangles and insert it one below the other. We need to insert different sizes of rectangles for different types of data. Set the position and keep the borders rounded. Now, insert a rectangle to the right. We will copy the rectangle below and set the position. Again, let's copy another rectangle towards the left with smaller width.
Now, change the color type to liner and set both the colors. Set the linear color position towards the downside. We will copy this shaded rectangle twice and set the position to the left. Change the linear color. It's time to insert an ellipse. Resize the width and height to same unit to make it a circle. We will change the color type to angular, and set both the colors. Let's change the color position towards inside. We will change the effect to layer blur and set the blur at 500 units. Now, copy the previous rectangle and adjust the position, size and rounded borders. Let's now change the color type to linear and set both the colors. It's time to replicate this for stroke as well. We will change the color type of stroke to linear and set both the colors. Now reverse the linear color position from left to tight and vice versa. Change the effects to drop shadow and set the blur unit, spread unit and color percent. We will now add another effects as background blur and set the blur unit. Insert another rectangle and move it over previous rectangle. We will bring this shape to front by moving it towards top. Now, adjust the position, size and color. We will change the color type to linear and set both the colors. Let's move the linear effect from vertical to diagonal. Now, change the shape effects to drop shadow and set the blur units, size and color. It's time to copy the rectangle and adjust size, position and rounded borders. Also, we will fill the color with color type as linear and set both the colors. Let's now change the blur unit. Spread and color percent of drop shadow shape effects. Now, copy this shape and adjust its position above the rectangle. It's time to insert the images for background. We will now export the whole background as image. Let's set the export size to 3x, and image type to PNG. The Figma background is ready for export. Let's move back to our Google Sheet. We will merge all the cells for inserting the background. Now, let's insert the image from Insert menu, Image, Insert image in cell and set the position. We will change the cell color and adjust the position of dashboard data. That's all for today's video. Hope you learned something useful for you. On the other hand, you have an easy way to directly purchase this template from our website other-levels.com. Thank you, and see you in the next video.